one of the things I've discovered is my excitement and my anxiety are very similar. And I don't know that I've ever known that before. I've always kind of thought one was good and one was bad. But I think the way my body interprets it is the same. I think the anxiety and the excitement get me kind of to this place that I don't really care for, if I'm being honest. So now I'm hoping maybe I can make a difference in knowing this is excitement. You don't have to lead into the anxiety of it. And I noticed that two times. I noticed that yesterday morning and this morning. This morning was a lot better though because I did give back into knowing that it was excitement and I didn't need the anxiety behind it. But I've never in my whole life known the difference. And it was quite unreal when I figured that out. <laughs> I was like, oh, they can be separate. <laughs> I can be excited to go on vacation or to come see the light. I don't have to have the anxiety with it. <laughs> they need to be two different things. And to be honest, I, I don't, I've always kind of liked my anxiety a little bit. <laughs> I have always found it very, very motivating, <laughs> but it's also exhausting. I want to really kind of let that part go and it's hard. It's hard when you've been doing something. I'm, I'm sure even when you're young, you know, even when you're 20, you're like, oh, I should have known. I'm already 20 because you're only 20, you know, but it's your whole life. And I think perspective just changes a lot of that because what if I never found out? There's a lot of people that are never going to find out and how lucky am I that I'm going to and then I don't feel, feel as shameful or embarrassed or guilty or anything about not knowing I'm just like wow I get a no now <laughs> so that really helped me a lot being able to have that time in there what did you come to know? What's that? What did you come to know? Well, so many things. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think that the first opening that I had was when you told me to soften. I, I was like, that's a weird way to put something, you know, and how how do I soften and then when I started thinking about it and then overthinking about it because that's what I do I kind of liked the idea even though I had no idea how to accomplish it or what it was or what to do with that information when it got a little darker in there um, I was able to say, okay, I can bring my shoulders down. I can take a deep breath. I can be able to say, it's just going to go through me. It might take a while, but it's going to go through me. And I have never been given that permission. And I didn't even know I needed it. <laughs> So thank you, really. Seems like something so simple, <laughs> but I think most things are. I think we and society and our lifestyles, we just overcomplicate a lot. So once I decided that I have the permission to be soft and I don't need to push through everything and I don't need to prove, that, prove others wrong that doubt me. I just need to keep doing what I'm doing. Then I found a lot of acceptance with that. And I probably haven't accepted anything 
like ever because probably because of the anxiety and because of the lack of being able to be soft around things and be fluid and just let it I've just fought so hard to not feel those things and so when you have that permission and then you feel like you can either change it because I could leave right and I thought about it just the once though I thought I would think about it all the time <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't and then I decided I want to accept it I just want to accept it for what it is right now and it's not going to stay this way and that is when I found the surrender of the situation which the situation didn't change just my mindset did <laughs> 